Hello everybody, this is uh, Robert from Xvideo channel at youtube.com Today we're gonna talk talk about this phone right here the Nokia N N86 the Nokia's first 8 megapixel camera phone uh, This phone have got many good reviews but there are some faulties with this phone that I'm gonna present to you today. The first one is in the camera when the when the camera tries to focus there are some how can I put this some colored lines in the picture as the camera focus that appears all over the screen. But as soon as the camera find focus or do not find focus when the focus part is done, the lines disappear and the picture that you take have no lines in it. So it's just when you focus with the camera the lines appear. So I don't know if it's a firmware bug or it's some hardware fault is. I don't know actually. The next thing is this. It completely freezes from time to time this phone. Some applications, uh, as soon as you open applications, they will just quit directly. So it's like the applications, application crashes as soon as you open them, and uh, that's not good either. So and the signal on this phone is very, very, very bad. Um, I made a little te testing this evening with my friend uh, he has the Nokia N95 the 8 gig version the black and uh, I have the N86 we both use the same network and we are in the same place at the same time I have about 3 or 4 of 7 bars in GSM reception only and he has full 3G reception so I don't know if that too also is a firmware bug or hardware faulty it could be a really bad made antenna that actually is located on the bottom of the phone as many new Nokia phone has it and I'm pretty sure that the N95 phone has its antenna on the top so when you have the antenna at the bottom and you have your hand around like this uh, maybe that will take out the signal or something, I don't know. It's really, really annoying. So, uh, and the speakers on this phone is really poor. Uh, the N95, for example, again, has really good speakers. But the N86, they are weak. They crack a little bit for some songs. And... Uh, it's just like M85, the pre-model of this one. Yeah, the speakers on that phone was really bad too, and uh, it's very sad to see that Nokia charges around 500 euros for this phone, and the speakers can't deliver. So it feels like I have been fucked over for speaking out clearly so and one a couple of more things the camera button on this phone is really stiff so if you hold the phone like this and you're gonna take a picture of yourself there's a really good chance that your finger don't have the energy enough to push down the camera button so it's really stiff I don't know it may lighten up with time, but as I said, for that kind of money, you shouldn't have to wait it out. So, and the phone runs slow from time to time. Maybe that's a firmware bug too. And maybe people think it's just when you get the theme effects, the future pack two effects, but it isn't.
because I don't I have my theme effects turned off because I don't like them. Actually, I think it makes the phone look stupid. And uh, so I'll turn it off. But it runs really slow from time from time to time anyway. So and the USB connect on the phone it bubbles as you see. Maybe it's hard to. But as you see, not good. And this is a brand new phone. This is the commercial version of the phone. I bought it from a Swedish local dealer called netonet.se. And um, I have to. I had to ask my parents to drive me 150 kilometers just to buy this phone on a Saturday morning. And then it turns out like this. It's. It makes me feel even worse. So, um, and one more thing before, when I took a, a picture of the phone, I, I exit the camera application, and then the phone just turns off, and I was okay. And I pressed down the power button, nothing happened. But then the phone started up, and then on the screen. It, with a nice little text said contact service so that's LA. it asked me to contact some service for something I don't know the exact words I didn't, but it seems like it's something wrong with this phone I don't know if it's just mine or if it's many devices that have this fact is, when Nokia releases a new phone, the first batch of phones always seems to have some kind of hardware faulty, so... <laughs> for the next next time Nokia releases a new phone that I want, maybe I wait, maybe one or two months before I get it, so that I have a chance to make new phones and update the firmware before I get it, because, honestly, this phone... I'm gonna do everything in my power to return this phone. In Sweden, we have uh, something called Doha Dead on Arrival. It says if the phone breaks within seven days of purchase, you have the right to a new phone or the money back. So uh, I'm gonna have a refund. Then I'm gonna buy the Nokia N95 8 gig version because, let's face it, that phone rocks. Uh, I think it's a really good signal on the phone. It's a good sound from the speakers, camera is good, uh, the filming is taking video clips is good too, the GPS works great, the screen is um, big enough and uh, sure the battery life may be a little weak but uh, if you charge your phone every night or uh, every two nights maybe it will get by so I will refund uh, re return this phone and get a refund and I will keep you updated on the X video channel on youtube.com so please subscribe to my videos so you can get the latest news of uh, how it goes and also I promised you the LG, LG Arena uh, full review the full test uh, actually about six seven hours after I got the phone uh, the problem started with that phone too but that phone I didn't have too much hopes for that phone to be honest so <coughs> it was a good looking phone the menu system was a kind of a iPhone ripoff so but it was a good looking phone but uh, the touch screen wouldn't react so sometimes I could press four or five times nothing happened and then it reacted and it actually turned out that it reacted to the first press but it didn't happen anything so when it did react it made four or five presses so so uh, yeah and for some reason the phone just died then I took out the battery put it back in and I started and I got an error so Something was definitely wrong with that phone too, so I don't know if I have really bad luck when it comes to buying new phones, 
but uh, or I should wait in the future when the new phone comes maybe I should wait until they fix all the uh, uh, sound signals in the phone so but, uh, N86 is uh, uh, the build quality is good uh, yeah, the slider doesn't wobble it's not plastic at all the buttons is a uh, dream to type on it's it's a really good phone, the build quality, but the internal, it's a real mess. But as I said, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, I will keep you posted on uh, how things go with my uh, return and refund of this uh, Nokia N86 uh, 8 megapixel camera phone. So I hope you all have a good evening, and um, this is everything for me. Peace out.